see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my small company, Proto Bakery. If you would like to support this channel and try a protein cake donut with two grams of sugar and 10 grams of protein, we are restocked today. I also wanted to give you guys a big fat thank you for all of the support. We are currently getting a warehouse so we can mass produce these bad boys and come out with more flavors, and it's all because of you. So here's a big sloppy wet kiss on your forehead from Yoshi. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the show. My name is... I don't have to tell you that. You're the ones who summoned me here. Well, what do we got here tonight, kids? And YouTube, I am ready to entertain. So I hope I don't disappoint you today, but we all know that. <laughs> I won't. But I am forever grateful, my YouTube watchers, that you have brought me to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you to you. Yes, you in the back, thank you back there. But you know my name, but if you are new to this channel, welcome. It's called Come Here, My Thoughts Will Probably Offend You, where I share my thoughts that will probably offend you. Very creative, very straightforward, and a little ring to it. So if there's anything offending you right now, tell us in that comment section. This is the place to do it. Tell the world what is offending you. And while you're down there, you might as well hit that subscribe button because I post one to two times a week, sometimes three, and way more than normally dressed in costume. Today, we are talking about the living's favorite show, 90 Day Fiance, specifically contestant Larissa. I think that Coty needs just tummy turkey. And I hope that we can make it in Brazil. We have a great soldier. She's known to talk a little funny. Coty has a great sexual drive. She's known to be a little bit crazy. And on this channel, we like crazy. Larissa is a 90 day fiance contestant originally from Brazil who found everlasting love from an American neckbeard cult who she met in Mexico, and after five days of lover's bliss, they decided the right thing to do is get married. Tie the good old knot. Pathetic, you'll never catch such a dashing creature like me tying myself down to one individual ghoul. But if you got tattoos, watch cartoons, and your breath smells like centipedes, a b might consider it. But after five days, the couple knew that this was destiny. Colt asked Larissa to marry him, and they lived happily ever after. Or not so much. Colt is a 30-something-year-old man. We're using the word man very loosely in this sentence. F-Y-I. That still lives with his mom, Debbie, and an army of cats. Mmm, <coughs> I know some of you women, and some of you men even are just tingling right now. Honestly, I can't talk. I do the most to Yoshi. And we're not dogging this guy for living with his mom and his multitude of cats. You can go, okay? Go, go. I don't like uh, cookie dough because I think that she should to lose weight. <laughs> my cat is not fat and don't fat no? shame my cat. We're dogging him because he constantly gets babied by his mom and his attitude suck. Colt doesn't usually eat bread for breakfast. He usually has bacon and eggs. Honestly, I think that coat is spoiled. He don't need to eat uh, like he, a king in the morning. Debbie and Larissa do not get along very well. I don't understand why you're so fast to be aggressive against me. Stop talking to me! Get out of the car, I'm going home. Colt and his friends are not too fond of Larissa. You have a man paying for you. You're not actually going to understand the truth about Debbie or Colt or America at all. Larissa is not too fond of Colt. Okay, go, go ahead, but that's your mama. Show it to her, show it to her. Do whatever you want, Larissa. Stop threatening me, stop being rude to me, I'm tired. I know that you're tired, you're fat, look too. And as you can see from the very short clips that I have provided you, it went downhill very quickly. But that's why we love this show. Unfortunately, Larissa and Colt didn't work out. Larissa got a little handsy a few times and landed herself in jail and might have to leave this country and go back to Brazil. I mean, to be quite honest, it's better than where I got sent. The waiting rooms are always just very weighty. But the women, woo! She's a fox. So Colt and Larissa break up, and Larissa went through a full-on makeover. She literally dropped over 300 pounds of pure fat. 
Got her face done, booty done, the works. She couldn't fix the issue with ending every single other word she speaks with a Y. Let me know if that's a Brazil thing, but 100% of my friends from Brazil said that that is not a thing and they don't want people to think that that is a Brazil thing. So let me know YouTube, it's your time to tell me. My Brazilian people, stand up in your house right now and type in your keyboard or on your phone, whatever device you're using, and educate this dead ghost. If it is, then I won't make fun of it. We'll still make fun of it, we just won't tell anybody else so we don't get canceled. Shh, don't tell them. What am I saying? You can't cancel me, I'm dead. <laughs> it doesn't work here. Not so fast, brown boy. We're gonna have some laughs. Marissa has a new body, new face, new life, no cult, and she is ready to date. Hey Larissa, I'm single. We got the same level of crazy, baby. <laughs> oh, she found a date? Who's she dating? This guy. Well, she's dating this guy. And people keep calling him Donald Trump. And by that I mean one channel on YouTube, and I thought it was funny. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Do you want a family? Do you want kids? I already have in Brazil, but... Do you have a family in Brazil? Yes, I have the kids in Brazil. Well, it's it's off to a great start, because that face says he is so happy, so happy to hear that. Why aren't they here with you? Because they, when I came here, I, I don't knew my ex-husband, Colty, a lot. Do you know? What's his name? Colt? Colty. Uh, Colton. Colty. <laughs> So he, he noticed her particular way of saying word, ease. <laughs> Coty. Cody. Yeah, Cody. Co no, Colt. Coat. Colt. Yeah, Colt. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird name, I okay. know. Uh, you know, I think Colt is a very common name. Very common name. Extremely common. So the, uh, you know what? Let, let's let Larissa be Larissa. And I don't think that was interesting bring them, you know, to the situation. Because when I got married, I have some problems. <laughs> As she smiles menacingly, I think she knows some is an understatement. Larissa, crazy to crazy, let's be honest. We have an abundance of deep mental issues. Don't be shy with it, honey. Say what you wanna say and let the words flow out. Honestly, I wanna see you be brave. That is why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. I won't. Legal I problems. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go ahead and find out the legal problems. Let's... <laughs> did, did they even get their food yet? He is so uncomfortable. That's the face when your mom just yelled at you and then the doorbell rings mid yell session. And she looks out the little peephole and it's guests. People that will probably come into the house. And as she's looking through the peephole, she slowly turns around and says, Act like you're happy. Put a smile on your face. And there you go. That's the face you make. Guess what? I got arrested. <laughs> well, it looks like she took my advice and she let the words flow out. Not one time, but three times. Three times? But I can explain. Oh my gosh. Okay, girl confidence, I love it. <laughs> should I have done a background check before I showed up? Probably. Actually, I'll say darn right you should have, sir. We didn't really get to dive deep into her children. Wait, he really had to hold his wine glass for that 30 second interview. We are not worthy on this channel for the amount of class just getting eluded from the screen right now. But the fact that she's been arrested three times was quite shocking to me. He is literally one of those textbook definitions of an Instagram entrepreneur that I see people always talking about on this platform. He's just a little Instagram entrepreneur and by that I mean he's a short king. And we completely stand Short Kings on this channel. I am one. Vegeta is one. We love it. He honestly kind of reminds me of a modern day calmed down, went through therapy, and really dug deep into his anger issues. Modern day Vegeta. See? Don't fight it. Just go with it. It's my channel. I'm right. Oh, and then call the cops and say, my fiance, Larissa, wants Why are you to kill me. a knife right now? That's what she does, Vegeta. <laughs> Don't act like you don't like the spicy life. This case, is it could affect my immigration status, you know? And it does. And from what I read or have seen, it is. There's a huge chance she might have to go back to Brazil with her kids, which isn't a bad thing, right? She should kind of want to 
be with her kids. I do have to say she's been in America for a long time getting a lot of surgeries and saying that she doesn't have money. What other values do you look for in a man? <laughs> like what, I mean, what- Citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We have a truthful queen in the house. She didn't even hesitate. <laughs> we love it. Truth queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Good I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I like him too. Not just because he's short like me, though he does get points for that. <laughs> Larissa has a lot of the characteristics that I'm looking for in a woman. Oh, really? He does like him a little. Uh, however. Oh, nothing good comes after a however. I'm not really sure if she's looking for love, like true, intimate, passionate, realistic, authentic love, or if she's just looking for a green card. Hmm, that was very well said and slightly attractive. Look, uh, little Vegeta dude, if you're looking for a dead, green-haired ghost who is quite spicy herself, all you have to do is say my name three times, I'll show up technically, I am an American citizen. I'm just dead. <laughs> I think that Matt, maybe he got scared from me. Possibly. He possibly might not want to get beat up. So I still feel very lonely and single. And I'm worried that I want to find the Mr. Right. Well, Larissa was sad after that date and wanted to go to the spa, relax, and do whatever is going on here. So apparently these things tighten up your stomach. I haven't been alive for a while, but you y'all have machines that just tighten up your stomach magically just by putting little sticky things on them. Okay, we're gonna like get you nice and tight. Yeah. Ready to go. Very interesting, and by that I mean very odd. Coach, he has a girlfriend. She's Brazilian too. So this is Colty's, Colt's new girlfriend. And she's very cute, but why him? Oh my God. Are you actually jealous? Look at that face, plotting her vengeance. Huh. I don't feel replaced that I'm not a Brazilian. I zero billion percent no jealousy about a coach. But she should to think a little bit before being involved to him. Maybe I should to warn her. I am all for this. Rack up that drama. Plus, if you were dating this, wouldn't you want to know all the creepy, weird, neck beardy type things he does? Because we all know that he does neck beardy type things. Before you decide if the citizenship is worth your time, I would. Do you think you're saying that you want to help her? But are you actually jealous? and you're trying to break them up because you don't want him with somebody? Larissa, baby, sweetie, look at me, come here. Tell us the truth. I don't know. Close enough, she's jealous. Anyway, Larissa does end up contacting the new girlfriend and it gets pretty intense. But we will save that for the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and a comment. If you haven't told me what's offending you today, remember, tell me in the comment section. And let me know if you would like me to cover this amazing man and why he is a good old neck beard, which will probably be my new Ed. <laughs> mm. Oh, looks like my time's up. You know how to get me back here. See you later. See the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your